Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, last year I made this fireplace and everybody seems to like it um, because I made it out of cardboard. So this year I decided to upgrade my fireplace so I'm gonna be showing you how I make my new fireplace guys. And again, I made it of course out of cardboard because we don't wanna spend a lot of money. So let's jump right now and I'll be showing you the step that I made. Guys, I know this is a long video but bear with me because you need every single detail on it. So that's why it is so long now. My fireplace is gonna be built around this 50 inches TV box that I got a few months ago and as you can see guys I left every single uh, thing that was uh, inside the full, uh, the TV box in it and of course we're gonna need cardboard we're gonna need some foam board and more cardboard guys you're gonna need quite a good amount of cardboard to make this fireplace my fireplace the one that I make it's massive it's actually about 64 four inches a little bit over 64 inches long and about 45 inches wide so it's a massive project that i took and it took me about a couple of weeks to make it that's why it took me so long to post a video but guys most of um uh, because i have to customize um uh, made my boxes because i'm looking for like different uh you know like a, a specific amount size size of uh, boxes so i had to go and make my own so those are the boxes that i made guys a little tip that i'm gonna give you when you're making your box make sure you reinforce them by adding more uh um well like uh, pieces of card board inside the box so that way your box is nice and strong and sturdy now i'm gonna go ahead and start to assemble all my um uh, all my cardboard uh, together so i can create my fireplace and as you can see all i did was put a little bit of tape uh, on the outside and i'm gonna use a lot of regular school glue and a little bit of hot glue and uh, make sure when you're putting your uh, white uh, you know regular school glue you put it both on both uh, of the cardboard box that you're gonna glue together and then what I'm doing I'm just leaving a the little edge uh, a little piece of the edge uh, of, um, without any school glue so that way I can put my hot glue at the edge so when I flip my cardboard over and glue them together they're gonna stay in place and not move until the regular school glue is like a uh, cure by itself so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for all um, the boxes until I get the shape of the, my fireplace basically the basic shape now I want my fireplace to have both a mantle and uh, a base so this is one uh, thing that's gonna be different about uh, the fireplace that I made last year and this year <laughs> besides it's like massive now i'm looking at the other fireplace that i make and it's like a baby fireplace <laughs> see this one is so big when i look at the other one i'm like wow this one was really tiny but anyway guys so i hope you're gonna enjoy this video i actually took that uh uh the inspiration from pinterest uh to make this fireplace um but because i took inspiration for like a few different ones and you know take this one for this this one from that and uh i mix them together so guys uh, so i can get the fireplace that i'm uh, desire now this is for the base of the fireplace and i make the base to be about uh six and a half uh and she's uh, longer and about three and one quarter inch larger than the mantle because of the way that it's gonna be sitting now because I don't want my, my fireplace to sit flat on the floor because you know it's cardboard uh, mistake can happen you know when you have kids you can you can drop something on the floor in cardboard water you know not good so i'm gonna go ahead and use like some uh, pieces of hardwood and i'm gonna put them um to serve me as uh, to lift the, the base a little bit and they're gonna be serving almost as like some legs so i use wood glue and then let them uh cure overnight and this is the next um uh, the next night and then i'm gonna be using a mixture of like white cement uh regular school glue and a little, tiny little bit of water to create like a paste and i'm gonna go ahead and brush it lightly uh, um all over the bottom part uh, of the fireplace i mean of the um 
uh, the the base of the fireplace that way it's gonna be uh, very nice and sturdy now the base of the fireplace guys is the most important part of the fireplace because this is where you know all the you know weight is gonna you know sit on top now even though it's a uh, cardboard but because I'm gonna make uh, my fireplace with mirrors and I had my mirrors um, most of them custom made and they are super heavy and super thick mirrors so the fireplace is gonna be super heavy guys so you have to make sure that your base is very very nice and sturdy to be able to you know carry all this weight now after I finish adding my um, the the uh, mixture of paint uh, of paste I painted and then I also added like uh, some cloth under because I don't want the wood that I had to scratch the floor so if you have hardwood or tile just like me you don't want you know uh, the wood part to mess up your floor so that's why I added the, that extra layer of like protection now for the top of the fireplace on uh, the base I'm gonna use those uh, very almost like thin but very sturdy um, plywood that I had left over and I'm gonna use this Gorilla Glue uh, to uh, glue them um, to the top of the fireplace, uh, the base of the fireplace uh, because that glue expand uh, and it's a very 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 strong glue so I recommend that you guys use it now this is the next morning when everything is completely dry I'm showing you right now like uh, for each one of the sides like from the left side the right side and the front side I'm gonna leave the three and one quarter inches like uh, um, lip uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my fireplace on, on top of it. I'm gonna trace where the fireplace is gonna be sitting on top of the base and then I'm gonna remove it and now I'm gonna go again with my glow like glue that expand and then I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instruction because you have to uh, damp the place that you're gonna put it and then put your glue on top and then once my glue is set where I'm supposed to, uh, supposed to go I'm gonna go ahead and put the fireplace on top of the base and then put some heavy stuff on top of it and then let it cover uh, completely completely cure another 24 hours guys that's why it took me so long to make the fireplace because I have to do it in session and then uh, every time I have to leave it overnight to cure you know it took me quite a while to make it now that my uh, base is completely cure and the basic shape of the fireplace is done so now we're gonna go ahead and start doing other stuff now what I'm doing right now I'm doing like um, some sort of pattern uh, to the front part of the fireplace now uh, for the pattern again guys I'm gonna be using regular uh, strip of cardboard and my strips they're like uh, five inches in one that's uh, like three inches and um, right now I know you you don't understand what I'm doing because I'm just tracing uh, where my patterns gonna be but once I finish adding and glue all my patterns together you'll be seeing exactly what uh, my patterns gonna be looking like now for my pattern I use the uh, cardboard and I make sure I double them so that way it's gonna be you know uh, uh, thick enough and have like a very nice like a little dip to put my stone later on now this is what the front parts gonna be looking like and then I'm gonna be using a uh, rose gold and a uh, regular uh, metallic silver to uh, spray the inside now where you see the cardboard piece this is where I'm gonna put mirrors so I'm not I don't need to spray them but the inside um, because I'm gonna be using rose gold and uh, silver um, on my fireplace I'm gonna go ahead and spray where you know the specific um, color is gonna be now this is the mirrors I went and pre-cut my mirror those mirror myself and I'm um uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place them uh, so I know exactly it, it'll be easier for you to glue once you place everything and all I'm doing is lift lift them one by one and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, heavy duty uh, silicone glue and then I'm glue I'm gonna go and glue all my mirrors where they're supposed to be now after I finish uh, gluing my mirrors guys because the mantle that I'm uh, that I use for my my fireplace is about like two dimension now that long piece of mirror I had this one custom made because it's very long it's about 60 inches long and two and uh, uh, two and a half uh, inches wide I had this one custom made as well so but the bottom part um, of the mantle I'm gonna be using that rose gold mirror mosaic towel to put it because my fireplace is gonna be rose gold and silver and mirrored um, and then for that bottom part because I have like a one um, like about like half an inch lip because I didn't want the front part of the mantle to be flush 
uh, with the front of the fireplace I have that little extra lip um, that's um, that I have right here I'm gonna use that sticky gemstone uh, um, to cover uh, the cardboard on this part now once I finish doing that for to finish the, uh, the mental part I'm gonna go ahead and and use uh, some uh, square cut mirrors that I um, that I pre-cut myself and I'm gonna be using some again silicone glue and I'm gonna be doing that for for the both uh, sides and the bottom part of the mantle guys thank you so much for being here if you're here on my channel for the first time welcome and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you do like this video at the end give me a thumbs up don't forget to share it and with your friend and family and also guys make sure you have the your notification bell turned on so you can be notified on all my future video i'm trying to make as many as video as i can by before the end of the year guys i've been so busy that i haven't even started to put any decoration out it's crazy it's already the 9th of december today guys and my birthday is actually in 10 days so i'm very excited now this is the mirror that i'm gonna be using uh, on the sides i had those mirror pre-cut for me they are about 33 inches long and 18 inches wide something like that I'm, I'm not quite sure i don't remember again i'm gonna be using my heavy duty silicone glue and i'm gonna go ahead and um, put my mirror in it this one was very tricky to do guys as you can see i cracked the mirror when i was adding it but no fear i will go ahead and fix it so after i finish adding both my mirror and let them completely cure overnight i'm gonna go ahead and finish with the the part of the mantle and finish adding my mirrors in on top of them and then move on to something else guys this a uh, project is a very long project not because it's a difficult project to do but because you have to do it by section and it took me quite a while to do it guys so if you're gonna do that make sure you have like a couple of like weeks or maybe like a like if you really gonna do it like you want to do it really fast just go ahead and take like a week and then work on it like every single day like for a full day and then you'll be able to achieve that or unless you have like some like some of the equipment that you can put well you know all the the pieces of like uh, mirrors together at once then go ahead and go for it now for the base guys we're gonna be working with the base of the main uh, of the fireplace and all i'm doing i'm gonna go ahead and glue again some square um cut mirror that I, I went and cut myself now to fix the part that I, that was cracked on the on the side of the mirrors all i'm doing is i'm, I'm gonna just gonna go follow the uh the way it's cracked and then i'm gonna draw draw my pattern um you know based on you know the the way it's cracked and then i'll uh, cut my mirrors well, to my pattern and then i glue my mirror to cover that crack so it's gonna be mirror on top of mirror <laughs> so, but it actually make it uh more interesting because i was just planning to have just like that one piece long mirror and not do anything on the side but end up i end up uh, making more design on the side later on you'll see guys now to cover the rough part uh, of the pattern that i just uh, glue on top of the side of the mirror i'm gonna be using again a one strip um of uh the mirror mosaic tile the rose gold one and then i'm gonna go ahead and do that for both the bottom and the top part of the pattern that i made um also i went and added more uh, mirror uh square uh, cut mirrors at the bottom of the base now for the inside of the fireplace where we're gonna have the insert in i'm not gonna put any mirror on it um actually on the three side the top part will have the mirrors but for the inside i'm gonna be using this beautiful rose gold and silver stone tiles that i found at a local store and guys this thing is so pretty like literally it's very very shiny in person when i first saw it i was like yes because my fireplace is gonna be rose gold and silver and mirrored so that was perfect all i did was cut like pieces making like a, a mimic like towels and i'm gonna be using also some mirrors and i'm gonna just create like any random pattern that you feel like doing and this is the pattern that i come up with the bottom and i'm gonna be uh, repeating you know the same mirror um mirror and uh towel 
tell uh, mirror mosaic tile uh, on the two side as well in the back of the fireplace for the inside and the top part I'm gonna leave it like this because later on I'll be adding some uh, cut mirror on it now all I'm gonna I'm doing right now guys I'm sealing both the towel and the mirrors um, that I added earlier and I'm just using my acrylic paste but you can use grout to do this part so um, once I finish doing that I'm gonna go ahead and let it let it cure for about like two or three hours and then I'll go and remove it completely with some clean water and a microfiber cloth that's all I did right now guys and this is what it looked like after I finished adding all my acrylic paste to seal and uh, fill up uh, filling uh, the cracks and then once it's dry I went and remove it and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to something else now at this point the fireplace is almost done guys it's almost done <laughs> and I was getting really excited because it looks so beautiful and I'm like oh my god but the fireplace is massive so it took me a lot of time to do guys now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the the front part of the fireplace where we have all the pattern this is the most excited part for me because this is time for me to be like completely submerge myself with the decoration part and you know be creative guys be whatever do whatever float your boat do whatever you want to do it's your fireplace your rule so it doesn't matter now i'm gonna be using epoxy to do this part it's optional you don't have to do that you can use mod podge or regular uh, clear silicone glue to do this part but if you can afford the epoxy guys just go ahead and do it and you'll take me later because the epoxy not only you're gonna be using less product eh, as if you were using mod podge but it's gonna make your stone that you're gonna be adding adding shine a whole lot better now all I did was I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take like um, a, a clear epoxy I'm gonna spray the same uh, spray paint uh, silver into a cup and then I'm gonna brush it where I have the silver uh, I'm gonna be adding the silver stones now and I did the same thing for the rose gold I just do like a clear batch of epoxy and then I added the gold spray on it and uh, the um, and then I put it again where I have the gold stone. Now, the reason that I did that is because I'm working with um, cardboard and they're, you know, it's gonna have some crack in it and you don't wanna go ahead with a giant bat of, um, batch of epoxy uh, and you because it might lick, so. If it's lake, you're gonna lose a lot of products. So if you brush it uh, um, beforehand, it's gonna harden, and then that way you're gonna have a hard to first to work with. Now for the rose gold part, guys, I'm gonna go with the same uh, uh, rose gold and silver um, um, towel that I use on the inside, and I went and cut like one strip uh, to put in the middle where I have the silver, uh, um, where I have the rose gold um, decoration. And I did that also for the top part, as you can see. Now I leave, um, I left like, you know, some space on both sides because I'm gonna be using those two stone to fill them up. Now I use like two different size stone. I use a tiny, very tiny metallic silver one. And the other one is like a 3D, diff it's, it come with three different sizes in, in the bag. And, but they are like very nice, beautiful, clear acrylic and they all uh, rose gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and alternate them. I'm, I use the small metallic silk, me metallic rose gold one. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the three different size uh, clear rose gold, uh, big bigger uh, gemstone. And then I'm gonna go again with the uh the tiny uh, metallic one and then i finish with the big one so i alternate them and do that for both sides i have the rose gold and the very top part where i have the other uh, bigger tile i'm gonna use uh, the tiny one on each side because i don't have a lot of uh, space because the space that i have like you know from the front and the from the top and the bottom part are very small tiny low space so i'm gonna be using the tiny um uh, metallic rose gold uh, gemstone to fill up the top part and then we're gonna be done with the rose gold part and then after that we're gonna go ahead and start working with the silver one now the silver uh, uh, stone I'm gonna be adding them on the outside and I'm gonna be mixing them with uh, a clear acrylic uh, gemstone as well so again I'm gonna alternate them I'm gonna do the clear gemstone first and then I'm gonna do the metallic silver in the center and then do the 
clear one again at the top the only difference for this one i went and lightly sprinkled some silver the some tiny of the silver metallic uh, gemstone on top of the clear one very lightly just to make them brighter uh, uh the clear one shine brighter um, because they were very clear it might get loose uh, when you put the epoxy on top of it because they will become a, a lot clearer than they are so adding the the sprinkle of the silver uh, one on top of them gonna make them pop out and the center one we're gonna finish adding me um some crushed glass and this crushed glass is from ashland i got them from uh, michael's so and I only use one jar uh, for uh, for this uh, massive fireplace because you know I only added it in the center part. Now, once we finish adding all our stone, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, guys, I'm went and go ahead and make a big batch of epoxy, and I'm gonna uh, put epoxy on top of the whole thing. Now, what I did for the silver one, I make a clear batch of epoxy and I mix it with some uh, silver glitter, and then uh, I put on top of of both where I have the silver uh, stone and the crushed glass now the reason that I added glitter on it is because once the uh, it's completely cure it's gonna make everything shine even a little bit better <laughs> and we want the front part to be spectacular so that's what I did now unfortunately I didn't have any rose gold glitter I, I, I went out completely and so I only use like a regular uh, clear uh, epoxy on top of the rose gold uh, um, part but it's perfectly fine because the rose gold shine even more better after that so but if you have any you know a rose gold glitter just go ahead and put glitter on it i will not recommend putting my cap powder on it because it's gonna be uh, too opaque if you do that so adding uh, the glitter is gonna sink into the the stone itself and it's gonna bring a little bit more shine to it so that's why i say guys if you can afford and you don't mind working in with epoxy just go ahead do it with epoxy but if you don't you know you don't want to do it, to do it with epoxy you can use mod podge or regular uh, uh, you know cold uh, silicone glue and it will be just perfectly fine so but it, it will take probably a lot more product and uh, more time to cure so i went and let my um, uh, uh, the front part uh, completely cure overnight uh, with the epoxy this is the next morning and you can see the stones are a lot more shinier than they were uh, previously when i first added them and everything is nice and cute and it's not gonna go anywhere so we are good to go the front part is done and i'm so happy with the way it look guys <sighs> this project wow now guys i'm gonna move on and then i'm gonna be adding the uh top mirror to uh, my fireplace now this mirror is so heavy guys <laughs> wow i could not do it by myself thank you hubby um, my husband was helping me as you can see that's his hand right there he was helping me with the mirror this mirror is massive it's about 60 inches long and 45 inches wide it's massive and it's very very heavy shout out to the local store that i um, purchased those mirrors guys and i bought a bunch of mirror for about 150 dollars the fireplace itself cost me i'll say about a little bit less than 100 150 dollars the reason i say that because i did not use all the mirrors that i purchased from them um those mirrors are custom made guys so you might be able to spend a little bit of more money but the fireplace uh, like this costs over two two thousand dollars guys so it's worth it now <laughs> when i wake up in the morning guys i found those spot on my uh, mirrors on the side and i have no idea what happened to cause this discoloration guys if any of you in the comment might know what happened because i was using thinner paint thinner to use to clear the uh, clean the mirrors because they had some uh silicone glue on it i'm thinking maybe that's what happened and uh, I'm, I'm not sure but either way again we had to go ahead and customize the side <laughs> so all i did again is follow the pattern where we have the you know the spots and then i create a pattern and all i did was cut like some random pieces of mirrors and glue on top of it now i'm not gonna put any acrylic on top of uh, those because i have mirror on the bottom i want it i want to have that 3d look so when you pick through to those uh, cr um you know broken mirrors you can see mirror at the bottom so i think it'll, it'll add character to the fireplace now this is it guys the fireplace is completely done now all we have to do guys is 
you know, put the finishing touch on on the back because we're not trying to advertise that we have a fireplace made out of cardboard box so all i'm gonna be doing is glue a fabric on the back and all i'm gonna be doing guys is do the flip um over method that i do that all the time when i'm doing furniture on my uh, uh channel and all i do is glue the fabric and i'm gonna flip it over so, so that way when you flip it over voila you have a very nice clean you know back so now a fireplace is completely done guys and here we go this is the final reveal reveal guys this fireplace is massive if you go look at the before and after where you see this this is the same spot where i have the uh, the, the other fireplace you can see it only took like a little bit on the wall now this fireplace almost took the whole wall it is so big it is so beautiful now i'm showing you the fireplace without any decoration on top of it i haven't even done the fire logs that's gonna be inside this is for another video guys because this video is too long for me to be adding that so make sure you have your notification bell on to be notified when i do that and i'll be posting that video by the end of this week and i'll be showing you how i make my beautiful fire log that's gonna be looking like it's real fire inside my fireplace now you can add an insert to inside the fireplace if you want because you have the the towel there and you know it's not gonna make any difference if you add a real insert in it now this is the fireplace guys i haven't even started to do any christmas decoration guys because i was so busy doing this fireplace now finally i'll be able to start doing my decoration guys i hope you like this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to go ahead and share it with your friends and family don't forget to click and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so go ahead and do that for me guys i will really appreciate that and guys, thank you so, 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 so very much for all your love and support. I love, love, love you guys. I will see you in the next video, guys. And as always, guys, I will leave some video, some picture at the end for you guys. And as always, guys, be blessed and stay blessed. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.